The so-called Coke cage has been a thing since before the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. With the proliferation of top attack munitions, drone dropped bombs, and subsequently first person view kamikaze munitions, new ways of protecting valuable armoured fighting vehicles have increasingly been sought. This evolved as cages over the top of tank turrets, and later with some vehicles being near fully enclosed by wire cages, sometimes with hanging chains. In early April, Russian engineers took the cope cage to its next level, completely enclosing an entire tank in sheet metal. While this might look ridiculous, the practice is a time-honoured one, with the concept of spaced armour developing as early as the First World War, when the French augmented the Schneider CA-1 with some forward armour panels. Spaced armour is intended to reduce the penetrating power of both kinetic and explosive penetrators. At least one Russian tank, a T-72, has been seen near totally enclosed by sheet metal, rather than a cage. Various imagery shows a tank encased in a trapezoidal steel structure, giving the vehicle the look of a shed on tracks. Social media has seen the tank being described as the turtle tank, or as the blyapmibil. The odd vehicle was first spotted during a recent attack on Ukrainian positions around Krasnoharivka in Donetsk. It was seen in video from a Ukrainian Overwatch drone leading an attacking column of Russian armoured fighting vehicles delivering troops forward. It's been hypothesised that the sheet steel metal structure was built to protect troops riding on the tank's hull. Notably, the tank is also fitted with a KMT-6 mine plough. While the turtle tank survived the operation during which it was first seen, several days later it appears to have been destroyed by a Ukrainian artillery strike. Ukrainian Overwatch and reconnaissance drones tracked the tank back to its base, and the location was reportedly cross-referenced by a Ukrainian OSINT and geolocation team, Cyber Baroshna, against open-source video of it inside a warehouse, which was posted by Russian sources. In the video, we can get a better look at the construction of the tank's shell. It appears that there are four corner-supporting columns holding up a framework onto which the shell has been welded. At the front of the shell, adding some aerodynamic finesse, is a white-painted piece of shaped metal that looks like it could be from the roof of a commercial panel van. The drone footage shared on the 9th of April showed the aftermath of the strike on the Russian armoured unit's base, with the battle damage assessment footage appearing to show the turtle tank in the wreckage of the building. The armour shell constructed by Russian engineers likely offered some protection against FPV drones, but at the cost of the crew's ability to observe its surroundings and the ability to traverse its gun and likely its mobility. The turtle tank may look ridiculous, but it's a prime example of infield adaptation and evolution of concepts around how to protect vehicles. The cope cage, which first appeared in Syria, had become more and more mainstream, with both Russia and Ukraine employing them. Who knows, perhaps the armour shell of the turtle tank may indicate a future direction of development which might eventually become less ad hoc and ludicrous looking. Thanks for watching guys, as always I hope you found this interesting. When the imagery of the tank appeared earlier this week, I thought it was definitely something worth covering. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can support us via Patreon or via the History of Weapons and War app. Any support you can give is very much appreciated. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.